Hi, I'm Bob Shrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course. Yes. Mm -hmm. Brad, what is, uh, what is your relationship with your bed? It's very close, Bob, especially at <laughs> night. <laughs> I actually get along with my bed quite well. Yeah. It's my alarm clock I don't get along with. But I'm bum. Uh, 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 uh. Anyway, unfortunately for some, pain, uh, pain, the bed can be the source of pain. Oh yeah, so sure. We're going to have some videos here describing uh, how to avoid those pain scenarios. All right, in this video, Brad, we're going to talk about the proper postures and the proper things you want to do to avoid neck pain and, and headaches right. at night. Now, it's not always the instance where the, the bed is causing it, but it may be con contributing to it. Sure. If you already have a neck problem or yeah. You're, you're prone to headaches, these things can may, you know, make it worse. So let's first talk about pillows. Nancy, can you? Wow. Try another one. Come on. Yeah. Pitch it in there. Come on. <laughs> little heat. Little heat. All right. Yeah. Well, first, Brad, when you're laying on your back, let's start with that one. All right. Let's start with that one. Okay. What you don't want to do <laughs> is this, where you put three pillows like this. Right, look at that, look at the posture of his neck. Yeah. That is definitely not what we call a neutral position. Right, what we're trying to do is get the head, you want to pull them all three out, Brad? Yeah. This is neutral, actually, right here. Does that look like about right, neutral? Yeah, we're keeping the spine. I'm not back this way, right. and I'm not forward this way. You want it right in the middle. So what I need is one pillow, one thin pillow, yep. and there I am. There Perfect go. posture. Mm -hmm. All right, and if you're not accustomed to that, Try to work towards it. You might maybe if you're accustomed to having three pillows, maybe work down to two. Right. And if you're used to having uh, two, maybe bunch this one up a right. little bit just to sure. start working your way down there. Right. Maybe stretch it down. Sure. All right. When you're on your side, it's the same thing. We don't want your head this way, and we don't want your head this way. So in this instance, quite often you're going to need to have two pillows, aren't you, Brad? Exactly. Am I about in the middle there? Yeah, that's say you look pretty lined up. Here, let me okay. push, push your head down a little bit. <laughs> no. What some people do is they compensate for that by using their arms. Sure, right. I, I, if you have shoulder problems, I don't want you doing this. Right. Otherwise, I guess I have no qualms against it. I mean, you may develop okay. shoulder problems if, if, if you do yeah. this too long. But, you know, one thing that people do if they lay on their back and their side, then it's nice to not have the two pillows because when they lay on their back, they won't be too high. When they lay on their side, they'll be proper. Right. So that's when to take the one pillow and do the one pillow technique. Oh, and then you can double it up, too. Yeah. So oh, you sure. Lay on your back. And you go like that. There. So now if you lay on your side, you simply double it up, and then you have the neutral position, and then you tire to that. When you lay on your back. Spoken like a true engineer. Lay, yes, yes, yes. No, this is, I teach this to all my patients, this double single pillow technique. All right. Beyond that, now, in the three what, about the person, really is this what about the person that lays on his stomach, Brad? Mm. That's a problem, and yeah. I'm going to show you why. When you're on your stomach, in order to, to get comfortable, I mean, you have to have your head all the way either turned to the right or all the way turned to the left. And one thing we like to teach in our videos is you never like to have your joints all the way at the end of its range. Right. You don't like to have your shoulder all the way at the end. That puts a lot of stress on the joints. I went to a class one time, Brad, very interesting. The t instructor asked people how many people in the class had headaches, and he also asked how many of you people sleep on your stomach. Of the people that slept on their stomach, 100% of them had headaches. Now, that may not be a correlation or not, but it is something to think about right. if, you, if you are getting headaches to maybe try to avoid sleeping on sure. your stomach to see, because a lot of headaches do come from the neck and then come up and around. Right, exactly. So, so when you're laying on your stomach and your head is over to one side, we call that end range. Right. That's okay to do that, but when you're that way for a period of time. A long period of time, right? right? It's okay to stretch it for a brief period of time like that, but we don't want you there uh, sleeping, like, right, that sleeping like that. An hour or two or whatever it may be. This other technique here is what we call a mulligan technique. And it's not from the golf, golfing term mulligan, but there's actually a physical therapist from uh, New Zealand. Who, who's named Mulligan, and he's come up with a lot of great techniques for doing things. Brian Mulligan. Brian Mulligan, there you go. What he does is he's going to have you take, this is just something you can try, you take a, a pillowcase, and you're going to fold it in half, half, and then you're going to fold it one more time. 
Okay? And now, Brad, you're going to use it on me? Yeah. What you do is you just actually going to put it in place like this, wrap it around, and then you take a safety pin so that the safety pin is not going to come loose and, you know, poke you in the carotid artery or, <laughs> or use some way to fasten it. Now, this just you gives you... You probably could use tape, possibly. I think I, that's what I would do. I think sure. I would just use tape. Duct tape man here. Uh, and what, what this does is it gives you a slight amount of support, a slight amount of warmth. It's not a lot of support, but I think he said he, he's had great luck with this with sure. his patients. I think it just keeps their neck out of trouble. Right. And it's a reminder to keep out of trouble uh, at night. I'll give it a try. It's definitely worth it. It's one of those things that the worst thing that can happen is you wake up and it doesn't work. But Brian Mulligan, he's been, how old do you think he is now? He's probably in his 70s, I would guess. Yeah, I would think so. And He's very successful. And, and speaking uh, of 70s, Brad, by the way, yeah. if you are 50 and older, you're going to want to try to, uh, you're going to want to subscribe to our videos yep, right because uh, we provide videos on how to stay healthy and fit and pain free exactly. well into your 70s, 80s, and 90s. And good for your parents too, right? You if better you're, believe if it. If you're a young guy like me, you want to make sure your, your parents are going to. Right. Be. When you're at 50 years old, your parents are probably 70s and 80s, and we have a lot of tip trips. Or, <laughs> Tips and trips, baby. It's a trip. <laughs> we can help you out one way or another. Peace.